Hey everybody, it's your girl Tia. Before we get into this video, I only got like one request. Subscribe, you gotta subscribe to this channel. I'm telling you, if you gonna be part of the cool gang crew, I mean, it just come with the territory. I mean, you gotta like, you gotta, you know, leave a comment down below. You got to do the notification. Hit that bell. You know, you got to help us sister out. So, anywho, since we got that out the way, I'm not a medical physician. Let's get the disclaimer out the way. Um, an esthetician, I'm a skin expert, none of that. I am just a, a city girl <laughs> that had acne everywhere all over my face. Um, I looked for videos where I saw people that look like me as far as complexion, as far as acne prone skin. And I didn't know if some people had uh, videos uh, that were fake. Um, it was airbrushed. I don't know. But I'm giving you my own spin, okay? So let's get right into it because I don't like to waste nobody time. Mm -hmm. So, of course, before you start your skincare routine, uh, wash your hands. Okay. So for the face wash, I like to use the Urban Skin RX. I'm a fan of the Even Tone Cleanser. I'm out of that. I mean, this baby is down to the wire. It's like pretty much... Oh, the pad was there. Pretty much nothing there because that's how much I loved it. Um, and then I said, well, let me go back in. Um, I went to Target to get these. You can buy it online, but um, I like just going to my local Target to get the uh, cleansing bar. So I got this one. This is a three in one. It actually uh, takes care of oils and blemishes and pores. So I said, let me give it a try. It does have a pad inside of um the face wash believe it or not i'm a person that like to use my hands if you are a person that likes to spin brush just make sure that spin brush is not too rough on your face because sometimes those things can be harsh um also with these make sure that you're cleaning them but let's get into it i run this under water like three times i give it a whoosh 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 you know hey hey i put it in i put it up under the water all right so I got my little whooshes there, and then I just begin to grab the soap and give myself circular motions. I'm getting it all under the eye area, pretty much the entire face. I also like hitting my neck. Plenty of times we tend to forget that area. And you just want to make sure that you're cleansing your face for at least a minute because I don't believe we cleanse our face long enough. And then for especially with us that have these hairstyles, sometimes we get acne due to the oil from our hair. So we want to make sure we're getting those corners here. Okay. So I'm I've given it a good lather. Mm-hmm. It actually has a scent with like sunflower, menthol-y. Um, I thought it was going to break me out because sometimes I'm very sensitive to different products, but shockingly, it did not. If these face washes do not work for you, by all means, you do not have to go my route with the face wash. I want you to go your own route. You have to do tests and trial with different face washes, but these are the ones that I that I care for. So I've given it a good rub to where it's actually all melted in, but we know that it has to be rinsed off my face, right? So I'm different. I use this bounty <laughs> paper cloth uh, to rinse off my face. I don't use uh, face cloths, I mean, to, <laughs> to take care of it. I don't know, it's just something about the paper towel that does it for me. And I run it under lukewarm water. I'm just turning that down some. So you see as I rub it, 
is now getting that lather back again. So I guess I am washing my face for longer than a minute. All right, by this time, my face is still moist because I haven't technically dried my face and that's what I want to prevent. Um, so I <laughs> then take my cotton ball and I like to use between two different toners. Um, and even for the morning routine, you can use either one. It's by preference. So there's one toner that I like, especially during the time of the summer months, be just, just because my skin is a little oilier than. It is the Oilay Oil Minimizing Toner. And that seems to take care of me. But also when it is more of our drier seasons, because I live in a state where it's all seasons all around, but even at that, let's just say you don't want that alcohol content in your toner, definitely do the aloe vera, okay? So for the sake of this video, I'm going to use the aloe vera. So you just squeeze a little bit on your cotton ball, you don't need much, and you just want to go all over your face with that pretty much hitting all the areas that you did when you washed your face. Okay, hitting those corners, everything. Even up here at the top where your eyelids are, that's the reason why you should pick something that's least sensitive enough to where you can do that. And I usually like to look back at my cotton swab. That lets me know if I really took care of my skin when I cleansed it. And so I didn't really see that much residue. So good, good uh, face cleanse, okay? So then my next step is I have to uh, moisturize my face. So for me at night, I like to use shea butter um, just because it's very moisturizing. I don't use very much of the shea butter, but I alternate between the shea butter. Hold on between this shea butter here, I've been having the same one from an African World Festival that I went to. So I use this on one night, and then the next night I alternate and I use my Pons, and this is for um, like a moisturizer to firm the face, okay? So we know, of course, ladies, um, we look youthful now, and we want to continue looking that way, but we want to keep that face, um, you know, firm, tight. So um, I try to use that every other night. So when I use this shea butter, I just grab a little bit, not much, because you don't want to have it too thick on your face, because it's already thick enough. And so I just dab it in different areas. And I go even under my neck, once again, hitting those same main areas for the skin. And I try to do the same thing in the process of, you know, making sure it has melted into my skin so there's no residue on my pillow. Now, let me throw this out here. In the morning, I do switch to face wash. I use this Aveeno Brightening Cleanser. It is everything for me, okay? You can buy this in your local um, store, such as your Walmart, your Targets, the CVS, the Rite Aids, whatever's near you, it's there, okay? So it is the Positively Radiant, once again, Brightening Cleanser. So after I do that, of course, I'm using between one or the two toners. Once again, we're just recapping. And then I use sunscreen. We must use sunscreen. I mean, look at me. I was about to say sun ice cream. I must be hungry. <laughs> we must use sunscreen, okay? Um, and I needed to find one that was going to target me being an African-American woman. So <laughs> I know you're going to be off kilter with this title of this sunscreen, but it's Black Girl Sunscreen. And this sunscreen, um, I have not tried it per se yet, but I have heard so many reviews about it. Um, I have used the sunscreen from Oile, the same of, as this toner, and it has been decent for me. 
Um, but as you're getting up there, you want to at least pick one of sunscreen of 50. This one is 30, but I'd rather say use something than nothing at all. Um, so you definitely need this sunscreen, especially um, during those summer months. Um, as far as during those winter months, do you need to have some off-peak times? Um, maybe not, because you're still going under fluorescent light. So we just want to make sure that we're covered, okay? And after I put that sunscreen on, I'm good to go. Please, if you have those dark spot issues, um, you know, those some for some of us, melasma, Trust me, I have been struggling with it. I have gotten to a point where it is finally at bay, but it's not 100% gone. But something that has been the most powerful for me has been this Amire My Skin on Amazon. And this product has various acids inside, it's vitamin C. It has these pretty much these agents in there that helps lighten the skin. Uh, now with this, it is powerful, but for me, my skin can withstand it. If I was you, if I started this off, I would probably just start off at night. You just want to give yourself one pump in the capsule. And I usually like to take a tip. Um, if you ever seen like tips um, to push your cuticles, take something where it's kind of a, and use the opposite end of that. Take something that's just a little uh, smaller than a Q-tip. Because, you know, the Q-tip has all that cotton there and it's just too much. Um, sometimes I know you're going to be like, are you really crazy? But I use even the top to a pen. I'll cleanse that. I'll make that my um, pen top for my, uh, my skin. And I use the end of that pen top um, just to dab on the dark spots. So I dab on the dark spots all around and then I let it go. I go to bed. And then the next night, I won't use it. And then I might even go another night where I don't use it. And then I come back. Because you don't want this terribly bleaching your face. And it will leave like a white ring around the dark spot. And that has happened to me. I'm in that current state right now. I don't know if you can tell. Maybe so, maybe not. But you don't want to cause that. But this is a very nice over-the-counter product. I still want to go a little further because I don't feel like I am where I need to be. I know that will come with um, drinking water, diet, and a few other things that you'll hear about in my next video. So once again, subscribe. Hey, you see it, you see it. And I'll catch you next time. See you too, cool.